Hey everyone, I know this is not about succulents and growing them, but I wanted to show you something I do in my off time. And I've been making masks because of the COVID-19 pandemic. And I wanted to show you a couple cool patterns I found. So isn't this cute? And look, this is one of those um, Echeveria Mexican Giants. And then it's got a Haworthia over here. And I found these, so cute. And then, oh my gosh, look at this. So I wanna show you guys how I actually make a mask because I've been making some for myself. And if you guys aren't interested, whatever, but if you are, then go ahead and keep watching. So I have my two pieces pinned together and it's nine inches by six inches. And you see right here, I pinned two little pins two inches that's where I want the bottom to be and I'm not gonna sew right here but otherwise I'm gonna sew all the way around and I'm gonna show you what I do when I get to the part with the elastic so I'm going to start by going to this pin right here getting really close and of course you know when you first start sewing you have to do the the little seam with the um you do a little bit of a, a seam and then you do a little bit of a backward seam and when you start getting close to the corner right here well i take away the pins and i'm going to take my first piece of elastic and you take your first piece of elastic and i'm going to put it in the corner like this so lift up i'm going to put it literally um diagonal so it's going to look like this to see how that looks it's diagonal and then I'm gonna cover it up and then I'm gonna sew over it and when I do watch this I'm gonna sew over it I'm gonna reverse it I'm gonna sew over it again I'm gonna reverse it again I'm twisting a little bit sew over it reverse it I'm gonna sew over it a bunch of times because I don't want it to come loose now I'm gonna twist this around and start going the other way and when I get to this other corner I'm gonna do the same thing but I got to make sure under here it's not twisted up so I'm gonna make sure it's flat and it's gonna be same thing it's gonna be totally diagonal in that corner and that's what I'm gonna do all the way around and I'll I'll do that to the other side too but let me just go ahead and do just this side and sometimes you have to kind of keep it away so you don't sew over it, but get to the edge first. So I'm going to sew down. And by the way, I put the nice side of the fabric on the inside. That way, uh, you know, we're going to turn it inside out in a little bit. So if you have one side that's prettier than the other, go ahead and turn it inside out. But let me just go ahead and do this last little corner right here. So you find the end, make sure it's flat. It's right there. Usually it's not this hard, but got the end right there. See what I'm doing? Diagonal. So I got it right there. I'm gonna cover it up. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna sew over it backwards over it backwards over it backwards over it and then spin around and now I'm just gonna go all the way across and I'm gonna do the exact same thing when I get to this corner okay so I went ahead and sewed the two uh, elastic pieces on each side, you know, putting them in diagonally like I showed you. And now I'm going to go right just to this pin right here. And I'm when I get to that pin, I'm going to get to it. And then when I get to it, of course, you know, you reverse it a little bit. Reverse it a few times just so everything stays. So anyway, after that, you cut it and you trim all your threads. And then what you're going to do is take your pins out, trim all your threads, and turn it inside out. And I'll show you what's next. So 
I've got this little opening that I left open. It's only about two inches. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn the whole thing inside out. It's kind of hard. You just start pushing it through. If you just start pushing it through with your finger, it works pretty well like this. Um, and then after it's all through, you've got your basic mask. And then you can pull it out like this. And you've got your elastic here and here. And then all we have left to do is pleat it. And then if you want the wire in the top, which is what I really like because it can mold around your nose, then, um, then you can add that also. But I've got this now, so this looks good. And you decide which side uh, you want to be the front and decide which one... Well, actually, you can't decide which one you want to be the top. You should have done that earlier. This is the bottom, the one with the opening. So anyway, this has got to be the top. So either this is going to be the front or this is going to be the front. So now I have this jewelry wire that I got. And it's about five to five and a half inches. And then I've got some packing tape. So what I like to do is pull some packing tape bigger than my wire and I'm going to lay it down on the table and then I'm going to lay my wire just a little bit away from the tape and what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it over once make sure it's sealed really good fold it over again seal it really well and one more time good seal see what I've done here I've got the wire in here and now I've got a little flat surface and then finally I'm gonna cut the ends like this cut it just a little bit away from the wire and then same here and then I'm going to make a seam in my mask where I'm gonna slide this in so I will show you that in just a second okay so now that I have my wire in the plastic, I want to make sure, okay, here's the bottom, you know, it's open right here. So I'm gonna pick what I want to be the uh, the top, whether I want this side or whatever. Anyway, so I'm gonna kind of lay this here and see about how big it is so I know where to sew. So I'm gonna sew a seam in just a second, not all the way across, I'm gonna start maybe an inch away and I'm gonna sew all the way across right here. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll show you what I do next and then we'll be able to slide this in through the bottom and slide it into that seam. So give me just a second. So here's the seam that I made and I didn't make it all the way across to see I left a little more than an inch here and a little more than an inch here and I've got my little um, wire so what I'm gonna do is stick it in here and I'm going to kind of twist it up in there and I'm gonna try to get it right in there and I'm sorry if you hear my dog oh my gosh my dog is trying to get a tennis ball out of the under the couch so anyway now I have the wire in here and you see here's where the wire ends so I know where it ends, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sew a little line right here and right here. Just a little line, just to keep it right here in place, right in the center, and then I know it will stay right there so you can mold that around your nose. So I will do that and I'll be back. Okay, so you see I sewed the seam in here and I put the wire in there, and then I went ahead and sewed a little thing here in here and of course I reversed it on both sides that way it won't come loose so we've got that it won't come loose we still got the opening in the bottom and you can always tell people this is for where you want to place a filter if they want to stuff a filter in there now I am pretty lazy so I don't like to do the pleating with any sort of special thing so I do it by hand you can use a pleating tool if you'd like I like to pleat it four times, and here's kind of how I do it. I, I kind of just do it eyeball. I grab it, and I go like this. So one, two, three, 
and I know what you're thinking. If it doesn't look right, you can you can kind of leave it alone, okay? But I like the pleat under this first one to be pretty much right under the the uh, the seam. So one, two, and I'm just gonna grab it three times. So this looks good to me. So when I see what I think looks good, I'm going to hold it here and I'm gonna pin it. I'm gonna make sure all these sides right here are even. I'm gonna start pinning it. I'm not gonna pin it too close to the edge because I'm gonna sew this. I'm gonna sew along the edge, but I'd like to pin it so it will stay right where I want it. And yeah. So get it how you want it. Make sure everything looks even to you. And then go ahead and do it to the other side like this. So make it look even. And then what we will eventually do is just sew right down the sides each way, back to back a few times. And then your mask is done. So let me go ahead and I'm going to pin this on each side. Well, I'll just go ahead and do it right now. Because it looks pretty good. So, pin this. Don't pin it too close to the edge because you know you got to sew there. And there. So that looks good to me. And I know what you're thinking, it's a little thin, but that's okay because that's just what the sides are going to look like. It's going to open up and it's going to look really good. So I like how this looks, so I'm going to sew it in just a second. So we'll go to that next. So what I have here is my mask that is pinned with my pleats. And you could have been a little more picky and ironed this, but I'm just too lazy to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and sew down the edge of each and I'm going to get as close to the edge as I can. So I'm going to put this under here and I'm going to get started. So don't forget to do your reverse when you first start. So do a few, um, a few stitches and then reverse. Hold it there, stay close to the edge. Get near the end, again reverse it, and that's it. Pull it out, and then I'm gonna cut that, and I'm gonna do that to the other side, and then I'll be back. So that's all you do. So I went ahead and sewed down each side right here, and I sewed as close as I could to the edge, and so this mask is done. And I know what you're thinking, this mask is really small, but I'm going to show you one that I made for myself with the exact same materials. You see this? This is what it looks like. I'm going to show you what it looks like on me. So, if you will put it on like this, put it around your ears, pull it down on your chin, mold this around your nose. Look how beautiful that is. Very nice. I hope you guys like my tutorial and if you like my channel go ahead and subscribe and thank you guys so much for watching